Hey, what's up, everybody? So I'm super excited about today's video because this is a project that I've been working on for quite a while now, and it's finally time to publish it. So you might be thinking, what am I talking about? Well, I've probably created one of the most advanced social media lower thirds titles that you can find out there on the web. And why do I believe that? Well, you can just drag and drop this title onto your timeline and customize every single thing from the social media icon or the colors in the edit page. You don't even have to tap your toe into Fusion, which is kind of insane if you think about that. But before talking too much, let's just jump right into Resolve and show you how you can install and customize it. All right, guys, if you wanna follow along, the download link is in the description down below. And once you've downloaded it, you will get this DRFX file. Okay, then just open up DaVinci Resolve, create a new project, no clips in the media pool whatsoever, then go straight on the Fusion page and then make this just a little bit smaller. And all you gotta do is drag this DRFX file onto the Fusion page and then let go of it and then it asks you um, install socials one and then just click install and then you're pretty much done. What you can do now is go back to the edit page and check if they are actually there because sometimes you have to restart Resolve if they are not. So go back to the edit page, then go to Effects Library, go to Toolbox, and then go to Generators, scroll all the way down, and they are not in here, so let me restart Resolve quick. All right, so I am back in a new project. Go to the edit page, go to Effects Library, go to Generators, and scroll all the way down, and there you see Socials 1 and Socials 2 with my logo. Now you can just drag them on the timeline, one and two. And now you see this is the first one. Let's just do some quick settings on and on. And set this one to smart. So let's just customize the first one for my YouTube channel. So let's type in my channel whatever your channel name is, then change the font, Montserrat, and regular. Then I can increase the size, probably just like that, and then increase the tracking as well. And then it's a little off center, so let's recenter this. So right now, as I said, we're doing this for a YouTube channel and we're right now sitting on eBay, which is not what we want. So let's go a little bit down to where it says social media icons and then just hit the drop down menu and there are currently 28 different social media icons in there. And by the way, this pack will get constantly updated. So if you think there's some icon missing, just let me know in the comments down below and I will add this to this list. So yeah, then choose YouTube. So right immediately this YouTube icon pops up. And then we got to change some colors, right? So let's change this color first to a white. Don't know if it's the background. Yeah, it's, it's the background. So if you didn't notice, there is a background and a foreground. So right now the background is moving out and now comes the foreground revealing your channel name. And we just changed the background to white. But let's change the background to this YouTube red, right? Just did that and then let's change this one to white. All right, now we can't see our font, but that is totally fine because we changed the font to the YouTube red or uh, let's make it black right there. All right, so this is the first social media lower third. Um, you can also just go in here and make this bigger because it's a lower third and we want this to be in a corner somewhere right there. All right, so that is looking pretty good and we can turn this off. We can just quickly let this render and customize our second name and let's do this for Instagram or not, let's not take Instagram because Instagram is pre-selected. Let's change this for Pinterest. So we got the Pinterest logo right here. 
and the background color should be white. Right now the foreground color should be the red of the Pinterest. So let's just pick the screen color. Boom, perfect. And now let's change the font to Pinterest. And then do Montserrat as well. Regular. And I forgot the T. Then probably increase the spacing. That one's fine. All right, so now both clips are rendered. Let's just watch them back. This is the first one. And then this is the second one. So yeah, that's all you need to know about how to install and how to customize them. Of course, when you want to say, let's say we got Snapchat right here and then can change this to the Snapchat yellow. Right, boom, and we got Snapchat. As I said, if you feel like there's any logo missing whatsoever, just tell me, I will add this logo. So guys, that is all I got for now. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe if you're new to the channel. But also let me know in the comments down below what social media icons I should add next. And also, if you want to learn how to create such packages for yourself so that you can sell them or just give them away. Well, doing a tutorial about that would probably be way too long, but I might think about doing a live stream in the future where I can show you step by step how to create those. All right, that's it for now. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.